I thought about while I was grabbing her. Because this is a great thing to do in your backyard. Okay. Don't go do this on a walk. Work her where she's mastering it okay. and then go outside. Gotcha. So I'm going to, and this dog's never had it before, so she, I would assume will freak out because she's a lot more stubborn than Zoe. So I make it loose. I take this ring and I put it all the way in between her ears. And then with all this slack, I'm going to twist once and pull over her nose. And then I'm going to just fasten it a little bit. Um, can you grab that carabiner off of her? Yeah. Stop. You can just talk. <laughs> and then with this carabiner, nope, is I'm going to, on the rope, not the ring, I'm going to go through the rope and then through the collar. And the nice thing about it being up above her, uh, up by her ears, is this is going to block as a safety to s prevent this from pulling over her nose. So now, I, yeah, you can correct her as you feel. Place. Place. Good. Now as she's going, this is something new. So really the only, uh, the only uh, requirement that I'm asking is that she's walking with it and not freaking out. I don't care too much that she's lagging or being up. So, big thing that I want to watch her is that she doesn't start pawing it with her feet. If she starts doing that, I'm going to just hold some resistance up, and I'm going to just touch her on her side. Either one of these, and it's not a jab, it's like a touch and a hold. Okay. Come on, let's go. Good girl. If she walks with me nicely, perfect opportunity to give her food. If she doesn't take food, stop offering the food. But see, that was like a little bit. So I'm not gonna freak out so much on that. There was a little bit more, so I can add a little bit more pressure, but little bits of um, of her trying to take it off, I'm gonna just kind of hold the resistance. Nope. Oh. good. And remember, loosely, she's telling her she's doing the right thing. Any type of tension is telling her she's doing something wrong. So as quick as you can get to a loose leash, the better. And if you find that she keeps struggling, make sure you're not walking her like this with a tight leash, because this is never giving her any information. Okay. Good girl. So I want to really see that you in my leash. Okay. And see how calm I stay? That's important. Yeah. Now see how if I keep pulling it, it may come up off of her ears. So sometimes instead of going straight down with the pressure, I may make the pressure go straight up because this is her not wanting to walk. This is very typical of Zoe. So I'm gonna just hold pressure. And right when I get a foot, I'm gonna drop pressure really obviously and then start again. Because even though she's not freaking out, she's still not walking. She's gotta walk with me. Good girl. Now another thing that commonly happens is kind of happening. See how this black tie and all this stuff is starting to get to the side? Uh -huh. If I want to fix that, I'm going to grab the rope on both sides, the bridge of her nose and behind her ears, and with both sides, I'm going to turn in the same way until all this stuff goes back into the front. you got to turn them both the same way, and they'll go right back to where they're supposed to go. I have place. I'm going to take that as a win with her. And if I loosen it, I want to take this loosen. I don't want to ever try to squeeze this off of her nose. I want it to really easily come off. Okay. Okay? Um, 